Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, this is 1983's Dixie Ray Hollywood Star. And uh, this is uh, on the Blu ray uh, box or, or set of five films, five years from Vinegar Syndrome, Volume 1, The Golden Age Erotica, right here. And this is uh, Dixie Ray Hollywood Star. You can actually see the film reel right there at the bottom. Let's see if we can get that without the glare. The red one all the way at the bottom. And, um,. This is directed by Anthony Spinelli, and it has Lisa DeLue, it has John Leslie, Juliet Anderson, Veronica Hart, even um, the uncredited Hilary Summers. Um, just uh, what a lineup in here. Samantha Fox, um, and even, even Cameron Mitchell, uh, the mainstream actor, um, who I, you know, mostly know for toolbox murders, but tons and tons of work. This is Dixie Ray Hollywood star. Uh, 1983, 101 minutes long. We're going to get into this film right here, folks, because this is a spectacular example of shattering people's stereotypes of what they think X-rated films are, of what they think, um, uh, you know, what people think that erotica or sex films, um, wh where they can't go, what they can't be or what they must be. Dixie Ray Hollywood star will shatter those. So let's get into this film here, folks, because this is essentially, as it says here on the back, a suspenseful tribute to 40s noir. 40s noir. Um, film noir. Let's get into this film, folks. I got some notes written here, so you're gonna see my eyes divert. Dixie Ray Hollywood star. You know, we start off this film, and, and, and the whole film at large has an orchestrated score. It's a legit orchestrated score. Opening credits of the film tell you the composer of this score, the performer of this score. It's old-fashioned suspense, elegance, class, and drama. And it really feels like you're watching a film noir. It really feels like you're watching a film from the 40s. No doubt, an older film. Um... We get this, uh, we get some amazing cinematography in here. We get this kind of moving, slowly moving camera, especially at the beginning of the film, down this hallway, a gliding camera. Um, we have such, so much usage of shadows in this film. And light and dark, physically speaking. Um such amazing work with light and with dark and with shadows and revealing things in the darkness and in the shadows. Uh, this is a detective film with that kind of uh, lonely detective office that exists kind of in this in its own world, so to speak, with the the front door with the name on the door. Where does where is this office? Where does it exist? They're always existing in another realm. This is a film that has murder in it and mystery. Um, we have sex scenes in this film where there is no music at all. Whereas for the majority of the film, we have this orchestrated backdrop of uh, very impressive music. And then, then we'll have sex scenes where all you hear is thunder. Thunder and lightning um, from outside. A stormy night. And sometimes you hear city sounds from outside. Um, we have a character in this film who is a lesbian with an open mind sexually. Uh, she is a lesbian who has a history, who has a story. And someone who... Um, is open to the male penis. Um, and we have kind of this... These two characters, uh, a lesbian and a heterosexual man, and their interaction with each other and their connections with each other, sexually and non-sexually. Um, we have this line in the film that 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 is one of the themes and or part pieces of the storyline, I should say. You know, blackmailing with pussy. Okay, blackmailing with pussy. We we have a story to be told in this film. 
and it and and we utilize flashbacks and uh, explosively abrupt cuts in the editing we even have musically some jazz piano classy jazzy piano um and this is such a prime example of how um actors are acting while having sex that sex is is acting and their dialogue is acting during the physical act of sex and it's all taken together all pieced together truly an, an, a prime example of acting while having sex and how the sex is the acting the dialogues the acting the characters and the personalities stay stay succinct during the sex scenes really unbelievable stuff um we have some great dialogue in this movie uh, from the from the beginning of this film and in sections of this film it does not feel like you are watching an adult film it doesn't feel like it feels like it could be some some amazingly acted film noir and the acting is superb and the dialogue is superb um there's just great interesting dialogue in this film and it's 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 un it's unbelievable because it, you you don't feel at times like you're watching an X-rated film at all. Um, we we utilize the blinds and windows, and you kind of see the light lines on people's faces and bodies and on the leather couch in a room. Sexual yearning and sexual dialogue and sexual stories and sexual atmosphere i will tell you that during the sex scenes the sex scenes have all of that all of the above of what i just said and there is a true yearning there is a true yearning um in those sex scenes um something I mean, just an incredibly intense yearning, sexual yearning, um, and the, the the dirty talk in this film and the and the sexual dialogue in this film um, expresses that yearning, and it's also um, very powerful and very hot. Um, we have mysterious phone calls and a ringing phone, um, and 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 and. and secrets to be unfolded and 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 more clues more wisdom this is a film sexually where women are really one of the themes is women's relationship with the penis and part of that yearning that i spoke about previously is involved in this as well but it's women's yearning and their relationship with the male sexual organ. Very, very interesting, even a lesbian. We have this great line here where uh, John Leslie calls a girl's ass, I believe it was Samantha Fox, um, an angel cake ass. That was, a great, that was a great phrase. We have old time cars in here, old time fur coats, old time outfits, old time settings, old time decor, furniture. It's the real deal, folks. It's the real, real deal. I've looked at other films on this YouTube page, um, like um like trashy lady that you know kind of set in the in the um in the old times and um you know you really kind of have just such high production value in this film and um there is something in this film that that um i mean there are definitely links to uh the quality of a film like Trashy Lady, but this film is darker. This film gets darker, um, and it is extremely darkly serious as well, and darkly acted, and um, there's an element of almost a crime film in here as well, like almost like a Goodfellas type of film, um, like a Scorsese X-rated film in a way, okay? Um, there is an, an, an element of uh, machismo and violence in this film, um, in Double Crossing. We have these, this great scene of a walk on the beach. A walk on the beach. There's a kind of this hazy 
hazy vibe to the camera, to the screen. Um, Cameron Mitchell is unbelievable in here for a mainstream, you know, mainstream actor in here. And I got to tell you that the adult actors in here, like John Leslie and the rest, held their own with Cameron Mitchell. Unbelievable. Never seen Lisa Delu like this before. Never. Um... Her character, her acting, her intensity, her screams of, of, of rage and desperation, unbelievable. What great, what great acting and a great character and, and, and character idiosyncrasies for Lisa DeLu and for all of the characters in this film. Just um, very, very consistently um, real acting, sexually and non-sexually. We have uh, film noir uh, first-person narration from John Leslie's character as he is the main detective. Um, there's really this is this is a very straight done meaning. There's there's really no comedy in this film. Um, there's a little bit of wit here with you know the main detective John Leslie, a little bit of James Bond wit and, and, and flavor to his character, a little bit with the ladies. But um, this you know there there is some really spicy hot sex sex noir encounters in this film um very i i call them sex noir encounters um within the 40s world within the 40s production within the dark noir world as well um and they're really, really wild and hot and spicy, and all of the sexual, all the sexual act, uh, encounters in this film are um, just lush. The sexual encounters are very intense in this film as well, extremely intense. It reminded me a lot of uh, the film Throat, uh, done by Gerard, which I looked at on this YouTube page. Uh, you know, without a doubt, uh, definitely that level of intensity. Um, and we, we, you know, that intensity is all part of the non-sexual acting as well, as well as the sexual acting. And there's just a level, I mean, uh, there's one, the, the yearning that I talked about before, but there's a, there's a character who's almost to, to in, in tears. Um, there's, you know, the, the, the moans, the, the almost screams, the, 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 the sexual dialogue, the sexual instruction, the, um, the dirty talk it's very very intense and powerful uh this is a film that within the storyline that deals with um photography and negatives um and not just photography but also uh cinematography and hollywood as the title implies and actors and cinema at large uh we have a suicidal secretary of in this film we have a lot of family drama in this movie as well and the family drama is involved in the mystery of this world um lisa delu and her voice is sultry smoky and smooth um this you know this film right here um Dixie Ray Hollywood star is also a, a prime example and a proof of an X-rated film being sexy as well, and that that is actually a possibility. Um, the character that Hillary Summers plays, and I, and I, um, she wasn't credited in the film, interestingly enough, and I really believe that was her. Um, I'm my favorite role for her. I mean, my favorite uh, example of her acting I've seen. I mean, she was unbelievable in this film. And same with Lisa DeLue. Uh, my, you know, my favorite roles in terms of, of their overall characters and acting. I mean, just unbelievable. You could really see that these, um, that everybody here was unbelievable um, and had the chops uh, and truly had acting chops. I mean, truly, as I said, this film, to be able to disprove the naysayers. Um, there is tension in this film. Amidst the mystery and amidst the sex and the violence, there is tension. There are secrets and lies in this film. Who do you trust? Who do you not trust? We have a, a, a quick ballroom scene with some ballroom music in there as well. We have this very bizarre 
an interesting slow motion close up of Veronica Hart's face. It's very, very interesting. And Veronica Hart was unbelievable as well. And there was this woman that was with her in this one scene that I don't know who she was. I don't think I've ever seen her before. And she was just just unreal her sexual acting her sexuality her um yearning again she was a prime example of yearning veronica hart's uh friend and veronica hart and her friend and john leslie in this unbelievably powerful threesome uh one of my favorite threesomes i've seen um with just really representing the character idiosyncrasies within the threesome and there is um control and power and uh yearning once again some of the most hunger sexual hunger i've seen we have twists and turns in this film we have hypocrisy within the storyline we have a uh a sucker punch blood death um bullet holes in the walls a like the movie Clue, which is one of my favorite films, there's elements of that film in here as well, like a Clue-like violent twist sucker punch within the film, utilizing shadows. We have black and white sequences in this film, um, like the movie Clue with Tim Curry and Madeline Kahn. We also have pieces of the mystery being unfolded by our lead character and to the viewer, to us as well. The revelations of mystery that you see in sometimes a horror film or a giallo film or a film noir a mystery film agatha christie we you, we we have reflections in this film as well the neon sign of a club or a bar reflecting in a car window um just really, really a, a mirror on top of two people having sex, and you kind of think that something's going to be revealed there, so there's some tension there, but nothing really does. It's just the mirror there. Old organ music, um, kind of old 40s organ music, almost could be a little bit Calypso, a little bit Carnival. Um, and a big theme within Dixie Ray Hollywood Star is the rules of cinema versus probably the lack of rules within real existence and real life um and you know this is a it, it's such an amazing portrayal of the acting and the class and the elegance and utter sexual abandonment at the same time we have some real close-up shots on the vagina Lots of uh, fellatio. Um, and we have um, some twists and turns within the sexuality of the story as well. Some disturbing stuff there. Um, and uh, almost a threesome as well with three women as well. And, and, and a good host of lesbian scenes as well. The, just, everything's great. And, oh, and Aunt Peg is in here as well. She's not noted in here as well. Aunt Peg, sorry. There's, she's in here as well, of course. And she's, she's amazing. Um, her uh, style of cunnilingus is uh, definitely uh, pretty powerful. It even involves some, uh, some popping or sucking or something. It's pretty wild. Uh, Aunt Peg is, is really, really great in here. This might be one of her best roles too. Um, although I love her in Pretty Peaches as well. This is Dixie Ray Hollywood star, 1983, directed by the amazing Anthony Spinelli, uh, available right on here. Five films, five years, limited set, but it's also available on DVD from Vinegar Syndrome with, I, th I think, some features. So thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more like this film from 1983. Please feel free to check out my own personal films by Googling Apartment 1014 Films. Thank you so much and good night.